Hello, I'm the LEGO Cataloger, and today we're looking at the Easter 2020 Catalog. Um, I'm, it's just a casual video, I'm just going to be going through the different uh, LEGO sets and tell you what I think about them, um, if they're worth the price, maybe some just thoughts, just my general thoughts about all the sets. Um, if this series is to go on, I'll probably only focus on the new sets, but since this is my first video, um, I'll just be looking at all of them today. Um, so this is a good starting point for everybody. Um, Alright, so first off, um, we're just looking at the some of the promotion stuff, like if you buy a certain amount, you'll get this for free. So the here, if you, it says, what does it say? Over, if you get purchases over fifty dollars, you get this little cute egg with a chick inside it. Um, I I really like this design. Um, it's, it's not the most egg shape, but it's got that good Lego feel to it, and I definitely a cool exclusive um, Lego gift. Then over here we got the Easter Bunny for purchases over thirty dollars. So usually, it's interesting, usually they do like over $100, but these are a bit cheaper, so you know, if you want these exclusives, it's not going to be as hard to get. Um, uh, I I also like this bunny design, <laughs> it's got the little buck teeth there, um, just a really sleek design, it's got a little Easter egg, um, so these are some nice designs, I like them. And then here, they also just have some more... Easter themed stuff. Um, here we got Easter Bunny House, um, which uh, <laughs> it looks like the egg is just um, just part of the background. That's not part of the set, but you get a little a little um, a scooter with a carton of eggs on it and um, a little uh, chicken hen house thing here. Um, I don't really get how that's a uh, Easter Bunny house, but you know, it's I, I like the minifigure at least though. It's got a nice carrot. Um, it's really I this is a good design. I think um, I like it a lot. And all right, over here we got the Easter sheep, um, from the Brickheads line. Um, uh, yeah, that's a good looking sheep. I, I like the use of the studs to um, and such to like give it the like curly um uh wool that it has um and it looks like it's, the, it's holding a piece of chocolate that's cool um so if you're into like easter decorations maybe add some lego stuff to it i these i think these are some pretty good sets um maybe i i'm not crazy i'll be honest i'm not crazy about the easter bunny house if you just want the minifigure then and I suppose it's nice to say it's not that expensive, so it's uh, I think yeah it's, these are some these are pretty good uh, Easter sets you can get, um, so yeah. All right, so we get into our first line, and we're starting off strong with with um, Duplo. Um, I won't go too crazy into this, you know. They're not. Let's be honest, not the most. Desi heavily designed sets, um, but yeah, they, they're, you know, they're nice sets for children, um, small children, so, um, it's, you know, this seems like if you have a small child you want to get into Lego, this is probably the best bet, like, I like this, like, it's a, just a, uh, box with a bunch of different, uh, types of bricks, um, so, this is probably, if you want to get started with your young child um this is probably a good start um i i personally i don't think i ever i mean I had a few but i never was into duplos when i even when i was really young so i don't have much attachment to it but if you do have a duplo fan in your household i think and if they like superheroes this is probably a good set i saw um you know it's um, it doesn't have, like, crazy builds or anything, but it's got Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America, so I think for, um, for $30, it's, it's, you know, not bad, you know, if you've got a 
kid who likes superheroes is probably a good set for them. Um, other than that, um, there's the module, modular playhouse here. Um, that's probably the most um, uh, design, like most complicated one here. And it's sixty dollars. I don't, I don't know if you if people are willing to spend that much, but um, it it is a cool looking little design, maybe for your child who's still into Duplo, but soon they're gonna be um leveling up to regular Lego. Um, this is probably a good set for them. Um, so yeah, that's the Duplo stuff. Uh, now this is the part I will always I've been fearing we got the cars. I'm not a big car person, so I may sound a little inexperienced with this part um, But I will say they they do look like they're they're good looking sets um that I That's to be expected from Lego obviously, but um I, they're, they're very well designed like Here we got the Ferrari F8 Tributo, I probably butchered that name, um, but yeah, it's a nice red car, <laughs> um, uh, it doesn't really do anything, it just looks cool, so if you're into that car, and we'll get, it's only $20, I think, it, I think these are honestly good deals though, especially if you are a car person, only th these three up here are just $20, so they're, I think these are definitely good sets if you're a car person, here we got the Nissan GTR Nismo. Um, again, it's you know, uh, you know, this car. <laughs> I, I I don't know that much. Finally, down here we got the 1985 Audi Sport Quattrato S1. Um, and it's again, it's, it looks good. I think. Um, you know, if you're into cars, I I definitely say if you're a Lego and a car fan, just it is good. Good, good, good. Um, over here we got some, like, sets, um, with, like, you know, with, um, two cars. This one is a bit on the expensive side. It's $50, which, if you bought, like, if you bought two of these cars, it would be cheaper than this set. So, it really, you're probably only getting set this one if you like either of the cars. Um... But, like, aside from that, they, they'd still, like I said, they'd still have the quality Lego look. You get the, I think you get the, um, the race stand here, back here. You get that, too. Now, if you do want a good deal, you can also get this set. This one is $30, which, in contrast to the last set, this one is would be cheaper than getting two of these. So, this is the, what, Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Gen 2 car and Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy. Um, I think, like, if you have, like, maybe you have a friend or someone who, or a kid who likes cars or maybe likes racing them, this is probably a good set. You get two cars to race against each other. I mean, they do, they're both the same color, um, but they're different looking cars, so they, this is probably a good set to get if you just want a couple cars. Um, alright. And this stuff is, this stuff's kind of cool. Um, first we got here the Catamaran, I guess? That's what it's called? Um, this is really cool. It's a Lego boat that, for once, it does actually float in water. Like, you can put it in water. Um, it looks like those are two, these two pieces are just, like, giant floating pieces. That's interesting. Um, you know, the design is, you know, it's not too crazy. It's mostly, like, these big pieces. Um, but, you know, pers like, looking at the alternate sets for this one, I, I really like the look of this set. It just looks like a, I don't know, just a big boat. Um, I don't, I don't know if it can, like, you can make it go fast or something, or you just push it around, but... It definitely looks cool. Um, and then we got more action type um, Lego sets. This is um, part of the Technic line. So, you know, they're going to have something fancy about them. Um, we got the dragster here. Um, so what's cool about this one is you obviously you pull it back and it goes on its own. Um, let's see. 
this I think hmm I like the alternate set for this one I, I'd, I'd imagine it has the same pullback properties um it's uh so this set seems like all right if you if you want like a just a fun toy to play with um just pullback toys twenty dollars is probably yeah I think it's a good deal Next we've got here the race the race truck um for twenty dollars. Um again it's got the pullback stuff. Um I I think you know what personally I think I like this one better. It looks cooler. Um and even I I really like the alternate set, it's like a race car. Um so yeah, the just simple cars and this is also twenty dollars, so I if I had to pick I'd probably get this one. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a cool one. Next we got the, the bit, one of the bigger sets, the stunt show truck and bike. Um, yeah, it's, oh, I, I didn't notice this is actually a truck here. Okay. So yeah, the, this is the cool, like, you know, you got stuff to play off of, um, another cool pullback set from Technic Line. Um, you know, it, it has not much to say. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's that, um, so if you're into this sort of stuff, then it's definitely probably a good set. And the last, uh, last on this page, we got the Land Rover Defender. Um, this one this is not cheap. It's $200. Um, uh, it definitely looks cool. Um, uh. I don't, <laughs> it is definitely, in my books, probably not worth $200, but it definitely has a lot of pieces to it. Um, and, it and if you read this, if you read this, um, sorry, it's got a bunch of fancy stuff about it. I, um, you know, if, if the, any of that interests you, maybe it is worth it. It's, that, that, like I said, these definitely look good, um. It's a quality looking set, so if this interests you, well, you can get that. Okay, next, uh, we're still in the Technic line. We got a uh, little buggy here. Um, just a little car. Um, you know, this one's on the cheaper side, so if you just want cheap set, maybe dad to get you over the, the limit so you can get the exclusive sets. There's, you know, it's maybe if this interests you you can get it and next we got the mini class Zerion again I, I don't know these words um but yeah it's a nice little set um I guess it's like like you can build it into a harvester um so yeah just fun little sets maybe yeah really cool next um if I were ever to have one on my wish list, this is probably it. the mobile crane. This would, I think this would look cool in like maybe a Lego City um, type of deal. But yeah, it's just, you know, a big crane. It's about $100, so you're going to be breaking the bank for this one. Um, yeah, uh, it's a good Lego crane. Um Can move, it, it looks like you you manually move the stuff around maybe with a crank but definitely looks cool this this is a uh, whew one one hundred thirty dollars um app controlled Top Gear rally car so this one you know if you you get your phone you can control it with an app it's like a like you know a remote control car um so this is really cool you know you can't go wrong with a remote control card um. It's, I guess it's based off of, um, a Top Gear show. Um, just looking at it though, it's a cool looking car. Um, definitely it looks durable, so you can like, probably, you can bump into stuff and it'll be alright. Um, so, if you're looking for a cool remote controller, you might want to get this one. Especially if you're a fan of Top Gear. And last for the Lego Technic line, we got the the Liebherr R ninety eight hundred excavator. Okay, this is four hundred fifty dollars. Not a cheap set. Um, you know, it's cool. Like another controlled 
uh, vehicle. Um, personally, I again, I don't know if this one is worth it. Like, obviously, if you're a kid and this is a toy you're playing with, this is the coolest thing ever. But just, like, if you're ever to have it just as a display, it's not exactly the prettiest looking set. Um, it's really, I don't know. It's, if you have, like, a construction themed display, maybe this would look cool. But it's, yeah, you know, it's... It, it's got cool stuff, but it's very, really expensive. But, you know, maybe if there's if Lego's doing a giveaway and you have a chance to get this as a for your younger folk, um, this is this is definitely a cool set. All right, then we're moving on to away from you know the Technic vehicles into Lego City, which is something I'm a little more knowledgeable in. So here we got um a construction bulldozer um you know a nice little set you get a couple minifigures um and if you have like a construction area and like a city display that's definitely a cool thing some cool parts here um you know maybe some background characters um but next um this is really cool like let's let's be real here this is dealing with show the ice cream truck this like here we go. This is a good design. It's only twenty dollars too. It's, it's a good set. I I might be considering maybe getting this sometime soon. I don't know, but it's a good looking set. Um, get a little dog there and a little skateboard. Um, it's an ice cream truck. You can't go wrong. You got a little cool mascot up here. Um, you got the different flavors. Like you, if you. If you're looking for a cool set, this is a cool set. I, I would recommend it. Next, we got the Street Sweeper. Um, <laughs> not as exciting as the ice cream truck, but still, you know, again, another good, like, maybe background stuff. Um, and, yeah, it's just a fun little set. And then another set here a cool set here that's the monster truck um sorry about that anyways we got the monster truck here um it's a really you know it's a small little lego set ten dollars but you know it's got a cool design um it's, it's simple but you know I, I like it it's it's a nice little set um okay so next we got the police dog unit. This is for, you know, it's a little smaller one. It's a more simple build. Um, I bet, yeah, it's, you know, a nice little police set. Maybe you, your child just wants a nice little police set. This is definitely a cool little set they'll have fun with. Um, next, we got uh, police highway arrest, which I noticed in this, this picture, um, it looks like the the criminal here is chasing the police, which is kind of backwards, but anyways, it it has some cool um stuff here. You know, the both the cars look kind of cool. Um, I don't know why he's stealing silver fish, but I, I don't know. Maybe criminals do what they do, I guess. Um, uh, so a nice little police chase set. Um. Next here we have the police helicopter transport. Um, uh, it's a cool, it's a cool little set. I like the um, truck. It's a cool truck. Um, you also have this helicopter here, which you know, if you get a ripcord, you can make it fly. I'm not crazy about these because the designs tend to be a bit lackluster. This one, yeah, I'll admit, it looks okay. Um, it just still looks like a good Lego piece, but the, looking at it, it, looks like it's only really three pieces. But you know, it's for a ripcord thing. I, it's fine. Um, it, I think it's a, definitely not doesn't ruin the set. Um, if this interests you, I, th I think it's a perfectly good set to get. Although it is fifty dollars, so it's a tad expensive. But I, I think it's I think it's still a good deal. Um, next here, we got, oh, jeez, um, 
we got the fire helicopter response um, and we got the same helicopter thing there um, and a little so it looks like there's like a gas station fire that the firemen have to take care of um it's a little set it's thirty dollars I think I think this is a tad expensive for what you're getting here just a few small figures um, so I, I don't know if this is really worth your time but maybe you just really like these minifigures or something or really a fan of the uh, fire department stuff so it's not it's not a bad looking set I guess it's just not it's not much about it next um, again another smaller set but this one's only ten dollars so this is not bad um, Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I keep getting interrupted. Anyways, this set um, is a, a nice little set. Again, um, uh, I, I it's not really what it's about, but I do enjoy the little owl. I think that's probably the best part about it. A little, it looks really good. Um, so yeah, that's a, I. I think maybe you know if you're into this stuff, I think you it's definitely a good pickup. All right. Next we got their sustainability mission stuff. Um, uh, they're going to make all Lego bricks sustainable by 2030. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, if, if you're not, that's just another reason to support Lego. Lego is the, probably my favorite company. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on, we got the Lego superhero stuff. Um... So first here we got um, uh, so the Amazing Spider-Man stuff. We got the Menace of Mysterio. Um, so personally, uh, um, I'm not crazy about Spider-Man having mechs and helicopters and vehicles and stuff. So this just doesn't fit. Like it, I feel like it's not his character, but you know, it's a cool. It it still looks cool. It's a cool looking set. Um, Mysterio's got a cool little mech here um and then you also get spider gwen that's pretty cool um it's 30 dollars um as if you think it looks cool as, or your kids are into it i think it's probably a good deal just personally i don't think i'll be picking up stuff like this because i'm just not crazy about it um again here we got the spider-man mech which pretty much just spider-man in a mech um again it looks cool um you know this one i i it it does look cool maybe i i it's i'll admit it does um so it's this is only ten dollars i think it's a good deal um the mech stuff are pretty good pretty well built um so it's i think yeah if you're if you think it looks cool it's only ten dollars it's probably i think it's worth it um next we got spider-man versus doc ock um in a little spider uh cycle here um uh i think if i were to ever buy one it'd be just like a spider buggy like in the old comics that he had once um that's probably the only kind of spider-man vehicle i'd get but again it looks cool they're all cool looking sets um i also like you know doc ock he's always really cool to have um, and Spider Girl, I'm not really familiar with this version. Um, well, actually, maybe this is the. Uh, I'm, I don't know, but it's, it's a cool looking set. Um, yeah, you're into it. Um, it's $20. Uh, probably a good deal. Um, next, we're getting into the Avengers stuff. Um, first, here we got the Avengers Speeder Bike Attack. Um, I don't know what villain that is, but if you like Thor and Black Panther, it's probably a good set to pick up. Twenty dollars and maybe a tad expensive, but um, uh, definitely you know it looks cool. If you like it, good, go for it. Okay, it looks like this is so far from what I've seen. This is the only set based off of the Black Widow movie. Um, uh, if you know if you're into the characters, this is, I think this is definitely a good uh good set it's 20 uh, 30 dollars um so uh you know it's uh, yeah i think this is probably a good deal um you get black widow 
I think one of her friends and I don't know what character that is but probably from the movie which isn't out yet so um yeah uh, I think this looks like a cool set Next, we got the Avengers truck takedown. Um, this has Captain America and Hawkeye. Um, looks like, um, I guess, yeah, I guess it's based off the movie still. Um, looks like we just got random goons. Um, forty dollars. Um, maybe a tad expensive. I don't know. It's a, it's that this is a cool truck. It's got some like blasters and such. Um, so, you know, it's not a bad set, um, if you want, well, if you don't have Avengers truck thing yet, maybe this is a good one to pick up. Um, now this set, when I saw it, this is a really weird set. The Avengers Hulk Helicopter Rescue. Um, from what their designs are based off, it looks like this is based off of, spoiler alert, the, um, final battle in Endgame. Um or at least something, but I don't remember the, because you see he's got the, the Iron Infinity Gauntlet, um, I don't remember Hulk ever being in the sky slash space, I don't remember there being a helicopter, um, but, you know, it's got, okay, it looks like, um, uh, I can't tell, I guess, I don't know, is, is, it looks like it's saying that's Pepper Potts, but she's right here, right? So maybe you get both versions. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell who this is, but that looks like Pepper Potts in her Iron Woman armor. Um. So it's it's all right. Say it's sixty dollars. I I don't know if this is a must pick up. I'm not crazy about the um this the white Avengers suit. It's a bit basic for me, but. I don't know if you don't have these minifigures, maybe it's a pickup for you. Um, I, I'm sure I'm pretty sure all of these have appeared somewhere else though, so I don't know if this is really a good set to pick up. Next, speaking of Max Steel you know, Spider Man, like I don't think it works. Iron Man, this works perfectly. We get uh, you know, Iron Man is known for having mechs and such, that that's his stick. Um, so th this is a d cool set. Um, I have a set kind of like it. Um, so I is probably a really good mech um so yeah it looks cool next this is the set i was talking about i have this one this is the thanos mech um i i really liked it because it's kind of just like could also just be a thanos itself um it's got a thanos minifigure inside it that's the head it pops out um i think it looks really cool uh, i like the infinity gauntlet stuff it's a cool set um both of these are ten dollars so you know if you think they look cool go for it those are, those are cool sets okay we're getting into star wars hold on a second all right star wars all right we got kylo ren's shuttle micro fighter um you get a little Kylo Ren figure it looks like his his mask is um all busted. So if you don't have this mini figure, this is ten dollars. You know it's probably a good set to pick up. Um, next we have the Resistance Y Wing Micro Fighter. Um, ten dollars again. Um, if you really like, if you like the design of the fighter and such, maybe you get it. I don't know. It doesn't really have any. Um, uh, like iconic characters in it so yeah it's up to preference of course but I, personally I don't think I'd ever really get this one um next is the Sith Troopers Battle Pack um it's $15 I don't know um if that's I, I'm not too familiar with how people purchase battle packs it seems a tad expensive to me but um you do get to these guys, one of these guys, and the commander. Um, so, yeah, I think, I, I don't know, it's a simple little build. Um, next we get the T-16 Skyhopper versus the Bantha Micro Fighters. Whew. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't remember any of the Resistance or the Rebels ever fighting the Sand People, but you know it's whatever if you like 
I, I you know what? I do like the like Bantha design here. It looks really cool. Um, so it might be worth getting just for that twenty dollars if you want a Bantha. Um, other than that, it's you know it's micro build. Um, next, okay. This, I have this set. It's a great set. I must attest to this set. Like, Revenge of the Sith is probably my favorite movies, so maybe I'm a little biased. But this is a really cool set. You get Obi-Wan and Anakin, um, two great characters. The set is, like, like, it maybe, like, when you put it together, to like, so it's more of, like, a square. The base is more like a square rather than a long rectangle. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, if you swap these two around, <coughs> um, Obi-Wan would have the high ground, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, so yeah, I think this is definitely a cool set. If, if you like these characters or it, the build looks really cool too, I think this is a good set to pick up. If you don't have Obi-Wan or Anakin, I, th I, th I like this set. I will attest to this set. Good set. Um, yeah. Next, we have the Snow Speeder. Um, going down from the Battle of Duel on Mustafar, we got the Snow Speeder here. Um, I think this, this is a nice looking set. It's got a Rebel and a Stormtrooper here. Um, I, th I think this is a good build. Um, if you want some more, you know, trying to make an army or something, you know, this is, I think this is a good pick. Um, Next, we got the Mandalorian Battle, Battle Pack. Um, I thought, I don't know if people would like to collect a lot of these, but I think it was probably just a good buy just to have it by itself. Like, these are all cool looking minifigures. Um, I don't know if these are characters that people know or not, or they're just generic Mandalorians. Um, but I, they're definitely cool. Um, I would. I don't. Th I think this is probably a good deal to get all these characters. <clears throat> Next, uh, we got the Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, you know, I've heard mixed, pretty mixed reviews about this. It's seven hundred dollars. It's <laughs> not cheap. Um, I don't know if I were to give some critiques. It's pretty gray, like. I, I get like the Star Destroyers are gray in the movies, but I don't know. Maybe add some more contrast. It's just kind of basic on that department. Um, but I mean, if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan and you know you want an accurate looking thing, I th I, I don't know. I it's not too bad. It's expensive, obviously, but it's not bad. Another thing, I guess, um, like. You buy this, and the only thing you get is an Imperial officer and crew member. Like, they're not even characters. They're just uh, generic people. So, I don't, it's not... I don't know. It's... You know, it... You know, he's, I'm not... I'm probably not going to persuade you either way. If you want it, you'll probably get it. If you don't, you're not going to get it. So, but yeah, that's Destin Star Destroyer. Next. Now, this is a cool set. Um, We got... Yoda, it's just called Yoda, but yeah, it's just a build of Yoda, like, I don't think there are a lot of sets like this, but it's really cool, <laughs> um, you know, I bet if Yoda was real, that's probably be about how tall he is, it's a cool looking build, um, just, it'd be dope to have set up in your, your room, so, it's hundred dollars, but, you know, if, if you like Yoda, I think this is definitely a cool build to get, you also get a little a little placard with a minifigure Yoda. Um, so, yeah, de definitely a cool set. Last, I think, for the Star Wars, um, we got uh, Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. Um, so, if you're a fan of the first movie, um, this is a cool little set. Um, look at it, it's $30. I think that's probably a bit overkill for this set. It's kind of small. Um, Maybe twenty five be a good deal, but I don't know. Um, I, th I it's a cool looking set. It's definitely his land speeder. Um, so if you trying to make your perfect um Star Wars diorama, you know you can get this. <coughs> okay, 
Next here we got the Night Bus from Harry Potter. We got we're going to the Harry Potter sets. Um uh you know, this is I think this is a nice looking set. Um I know they've released the Night Bus before. Um so this is just another take on it. Um you know, it's a bit I th it's a bit like squarish looking. I don't know, but you know, if what you're looking for if you want the night bus you don't have it yet it's $40 uh, you know it's not not a bad deal I think um so yeah moving on we got uh Hagrid's HUD hut um buck geek rescue okay I I also want to point out I'm not a huge Harry Potter nerd I don't I'm not I'm not haven't read the books haven't really watched most of the movies so I'll, I'll do my best but I may uh, flub some things up Anyways, this is actually the one movie I did see I remember a long time ago uh, with Buckbeak and such um, uh, Yeah, I think Hagrid's Hut looked really good. It's $60. That's probably why it looks so good um, You know me. I think that's a tad much, but it's a definitely a cool set if you don't have Hagrid's Hut and you're a Harry Potter, fan, Harry Potter fan, I think it's definitely a good set to pick up um, I think a nice little detail maybe would be, um, if it had, like, two Harry Potter mini minifigures, then, you know, because, you know, one would be in the future, or from the future, and the other would be from the past, um, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I think that would have been a cool detail, but, I don't know, I guess you'll just have to use your own extra minifigures, but, again, this is a cool set, definitely, I think, you know, if you're a Harry Potter fan, probably worth it, worth the $60. Next, we got Hogwarts Great Hall. You know, this is the Harry Potter set. It's a hundred dollars. Um, personally, I don't know. Like, it's definitely, it's definitely the castle. Like, no getting around it. That's the Harry Potter castle. But looking at it, I don't know. It just seems a bit basic. Not, I'm not knocking the actual, like the actual castle design. I'm talking about the Lego one here. I, it, I feel like the it seems simple a bit simple like simple shapes I feel like they could have done a little more with it I don't know if the inside looks cool um you know if you know again I'm probably not going to persuade you either way with this one so um but if you you know just I don't know I'm, I'm not crazy about this one um so but moving on from that, we got Expecto Patronum. This this is a cool looking set. Um, uh, it's twenty dollars. So again, a tad, I think a tad expensive for just some trees and a magic deer here. Um, but I I don't know. Um, you get some cool mini figures with it. Um, the Dementors. I, I think uh, the, you know it's all right if you're again Harry Potter fan you'll probably be into it so maybe it's worth it um okay next we're getting into lego trolls you know i don't know how many are interested in it but we'll just get through this um first here we got poppy's hot air balloon adventure this set i think looks kind of cool um it's got a lot of detail here um it, you know it's, i don't mind this set this is a good looking set i think you know you got a trolls fan definitely a good pickup for $30 maybe a tad much I don't know but you know I have to, you know it's a good looking set I, I don't mind it next we got again for $30 the lonesome flat raft adventure this one I don't know I'm not a huge desert person I'm not into any desert themed stuff so maybe that's why I'm not crazy about this one but I don't know the colors just with the brown and the pink just don't work for me um, but maybe you like it, I don't know, it seems a bit expensive for just this little set, I don't know. But now, for a cool set, for $40, you get the Volcano Rock City Concert. Now this, this is a cool looking set, I think, I'm not a Trolls fan, but, you know, I think, even just ignoring the characters in it, I think this is a cool looking set, it's, a, it's got cool, um, rock stuff to it. This is, like, if I, if I were forced to get a Lego Trolls set, like, 
I'd probably give this one. So it's pretty cool looking. Next we got, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, next here we got the Rainbow Catter Bus. Uh, yes, bus. Um, it, this definitely looks like a very young child's toy. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it screams like baby toys, which obviously it isn't because it's Lego. So like I swallow stuff. So I I don't know. Again, if you're into trolls, like you probably like this. So um, you know, make your own opinions. Next we got the Pop Village Celebration. Again, it's more of the same thing. Like one critique about this line is like none of these sets really like. Like, they don't really have their own feel to them. They're all this vomit of rainbows. So, take it out what you will. Um, uh, again, it's a nice little set. It looks like a, a little house village thing. It's, a, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Next, we got the Techno Reef Dance Party. Um... Man, I again, um, just you know, it is what it is. It's a yeah, I think it's twenty dollars, it's a tad expensive for this, very small. Next, we got Poppy's Pod. I, I'm guessing that's her house and such. So, yeah, I think this twenty dollars if you get a little girl who likes the stuff, I think she'd probably like this. Probably a good deal out of these sets. Um, yeah, it's four plus. It's for the younger kids. Um, so yeah, it's a good set. Okay, next, Lego Dots. This looks this new theme. I think um, I, I've heard about it a little bit before, but um, this is the first time I'm really getting a good look at it. Um, I'm not gonna go over each of these um, bracelets. Um, but yeah, they're like different like bracelets with different like color stuff you can put on it um, um I think these definitely look really cool um <coughs> I'd probably never get one but you know I think they're colorful enough I think a lot of mostly probably girls would like it I they're really cool and I know if I was a kid when I, when I was a kid um and if I saw a girl with the Lego bracelet I'd be like oh that girl's cool um, because, you know, I was into Legos, I still am, so, and then also you can get, if you want even more designs, you got, they're like extra dots, which give you more designs to put on each bracelet, each bracelet is only like five dollars, so I think that's a pretty good deal to show off your Lego style, um, then next we got some more like, um, I don't know what you say, like, uh, useful appliance type stuff I guess um, first we have like a pineapple pencil holder which is like you know it's got like a basic pineapple design and you can put the different colors like dots I guess they're called on top of it and it looks really cool and then you can put pencils and stuff in it I think that's a really cool idea and also you get a little I guess that's a watermelon you can put smaller stuff like they have paper clips in it so that's really cool and then next um we got the rainbow jewelry stand so um you know got your um jewelry you can put it on here i i really like i really like lego stuff like this where you can like have real stuff put into it i think that's i think that's really cool um this is a cool theme so far and then finally you got the animal picture holders Sorry about that again. My last time my camera ran out of uh, space. All right, back to this. Um, we got the animal picture holders. Um, again, these look really cool, really cute. You can design them, more dots to put on them. Um, I th I think these are good. Again, a good use of the the Lego stuff. Again, I say I really like this. Moving on, we got the friends line. Again, I'm not gonna go over all these. These are all um. The all these are like little, I guess, if you know, poly pockets that that's what these are, but with the Lego friends. Um, I these are like it's a cool idea, I think. I really like it. Um, I guess my favorite here, um, is probably 
Mia's shopping play cube. Um, because it's based off it's got like movie stuff and popcorn. This is this is a really cool one. Um so yeah, those are all those. Next, uh, we got the friendship bus for seventy dollars. Um, I, if you're a Lego person, you like the Lego Friends theme. You know, this is probably it's a good looking set. It's big. It's got a lot of stuff in it, so it's probably really fun. Or maybe a little girl, she'll really like this. Um, this is a cool set. Um, next we have. Ice cream cart for ten dollars. Um, this is one nice little set. You got um ice cream, little dog figure there. Um, I, I like this. It's a nice little set, it's simple. Um, but you know it looks good. They do a good job at that at Lego. Next we got the puppy playground. A little, a little slide with some puppies, and then well, this that looks like one of the things where you'd spin on in a playground so I don't know if it spins or not but it looks kind of cool um maybe these two things if you're like if you have a little friends town thing these probably look really good with it um so yeah these are definitely cool sets okay, flip it. okay. moving on we got Andrea Andrea's car and stage this is a really weird set, I think, in my opinion. Like, you got this cool car. It's a cool-looking car. You got a little jukebox or whatever. Not a jukebox, but like a stereo thing in the back. Um, and then they give you a stage, too. So, I mean, it's a, it looks fine. Uh, it's $20. I think it's probably a good deal. Um, it's a nice little set. I just very strange combination, but I dig it. It's, if you... Need either of those things. It's a good set to pick up. Um, next we got uh, the Heart Lake City Hair Salon for $20. This, okay, this is a good deal. I don't see that very often. This is a $20 set for this, like, big hair salon looking thing. I think that's definitely, that's definitely a good pickup. Um, if you like the Friends theme. Uh, it's got different hair pieces too. So I think this is definitely a good deal. Next, we got uh, the juice truck for twenty dollars, which is which is all right. You get different like fruit stuff, and you also got like a little beach sand thing, and some dolphins, cause you know why not? Um, oh, this is just, it looks like this is intended for younger children, but I th I think it just this is a really good looking set. Um, it looks like it's got some bigger pieces down there that might be part of it, but. This is a good looking set, I think. Next, we got the baking competition for $40. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, that's a tad expensive, maybe. Um, but, you know, it's nice. Um, you know, if you want some of these more sweet looking stuff, you can. This is a good pickup. Um, oh, oh, cool. This is cool. You get a little reward for it looks like a hundred somethings. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a cool set, um, the old fire hydrant with the fire there, um, so this, again, is a pickup if you like the Friends theme, and then finally, Nature Glamping, um, I feel like I've heard glamping before, I don't know, I don't know what that is, I, I, I don't know, kids these days, um, but this set looks all right, it's got a little tent over there, and you get the roasting marshmallows area. Um, and I, I don't know, I guess maybe a hot tub? I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, it's a hot tub, um, which is kind of weird. I guess that's part of the glamping thing. I don't know. But for $30, I think this is a good good deal. Good If you like the friend's theme, again, go for it. Oop. Okay, next we got Disney Princesses. Again, we got these, like, storybook sets, which are kind of, again, like the Polly Pockets, but they're more like, you know, when you fold them, they look like a book, which is a cool idea. Um, you got Ariel, um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and Anna and Elsa from, you know, that, what was that movie? Oh, it's, oh, I can't think of it. It wasn't, it's kind of an, it's an, it's a niche movie series. I don't, 
uh, I don't remember. I, maybe one of you in the comments can tell me. I, I can't recall. But anyways, we got, um, uh, this is, looks like a standalone thing. It's Cinderella's Castle Celebration. Um, for $30, it seems a bit expensive for what you're getting. It's a very basic looking castle. I don't know. Um, next, we got Mulan's Training Grounds, which I think this is a good looking set, I guess. Maybe a bit more pink than I would put in there. But it's alright. Again, $30 is a bit much, but, you know, it's alright. Next is, um, this is probably my favorite out of these. Moana's Island Home. It looks, it's a good looking set. I feel like it's actually based off the movie a little bit. Um, you got, uh, the Manta Ray Grandma there. Um, it's, uh, this is probably a good set if you want to rebuild the Moana movie. Here you go. This is a good starting point. Um, next we got Aurora's Royal Carriage, um, uh, which is, you know, it's Royal Carriage, $10, eh, this is probably a good deal, um, simple little set, um, you get Sleeping Beauty, and it looks like you get a little owl there too, that's pretty cool. Next, again, for $10, you get Moana's Ocean Adventure, um, which, you know, you get the raft, um, so this is also probably a good set if you're trying to re recreate Moana, they, you get the actual, you know, the raft they spend the entire movie on, so, it's pretty cool, um, all it looks like, I think that's the heart of Tefiti too, so, it's pretty cool, and then, oh, the big, the big one, the Disney Castles, um, this is, it's, you don't need to do, me to tell you that this looks fantastic. It's a fantastic looking set. My one concern that, you know, another person brought up, which I agree with, this is, you know, this is Cinderella's castle, but you see, for all the minifigures, you, you don't get Cinderella. You get Tinkerbell, which, you know, you, she does the thing at the beginning of every movie, but where's Cinderella? This is her castle. What? It's just one more minifigure. They could have added her. Um, it's kind of strange in my opinion, but, you know. You also get these, you know, mini Mickey, Donald, and Daisy. So, I, you know, this is a really cool set, you know. Even taking the minifigures out of it, this is a cool set. If you have the money and, you know, you're a Disney fan, this is definitely a good, fantastic set. Like, it looks beautiful. It's great, a great set. Um, so, yeah. Next, we're going to Lego Minecraft, which Minecraft I know about, so we can get into the good stuff here. Um, first, we got Big Fig Pig with Baby Zombie. All right. <laughs> so, I think uh, this is just a nice little build here. It uh, looks cool. It's kind of funny looking. Um, you know, if you're... It's just, I don't know, good look at say. I don't know what to say. You got the pig and the baby zombie. I like it. It's kind of zany. $15. I think that's a good deal for it. Next, we got uh, the Panda Nursery. Um, something I noticed with, like, a few of these Minecraft sets is, I don't know, they're just a bit bare, I guess, a little bit. I don't know. It, it doesn't always, like, there's a bunch of exposed studs. I know Minecraft, it's a very blocky game. You know, there's some things I could say about that. They could, like, they could probably improve Minecraft a little bit, I think, with how it looks. But, I, I don't know, I feel like they could do better with Minecraft uh, sets. But, anyways, the, you do get some pandas and such in the Ocelot. So, it's, it's, it's an alright looking set. If you want those, I think it's worth it, $20.00. Um, you, you can pick it up. Um, I, I was looking for a Minecraft set recently and I considered it cause I do like the pandas, but overall, like I'm not, I'm just not crazy about this build, the like set here. So I decided against it and went with another one. Um, next we have the Taiga Adventure for $10. So this is a nice little simple set. Um, uh, the basic look is a bit more forgiving cause it's only $10. Um, you get a little fox and then also Steve with golden pants, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then you get a skeleton and a little 
wolf there. So this is all right little set. You just want a bunch of random stuff. This is a good set to pick up. Maybe just extra parts for your Minecraft builds. Next is the Big Fig Creeper and Ocelot. I think this is definitely a good set. Um, this is a de like just the just the creeper itself. Like it, you know, is the iconic Minecraft monster. So I think this is definitely a good set if you're a hardcore Minecraft fan. You know, I would pick this up. Um, I I could pro I probably see myself owning this one day. Um, so yeah, it's a nice looking set. Next, we got Ninjago. Now, um, yeah, hold on. All right, so first we got you here, the Jungle Raider with um, Lloyd in it. Um, uh, it's a nice looking bike. It's ten dollars. Um, it's pretty, I think it's a good deal if you think it looks cool. Go for it. Um, next we got Kai's Fire Dragon. Um, you know. They this they used to have the like bigger dragons. I I don't remember how expensive they were, but they were you know they were big ones. So this looks like a really slim down version. If you just want the dragons, you know it's nice, cheaper twenty dollars. Um, this definitely looks good. Um, you know a bit small, but you know it's a cool looking dragon, so it's worth it. You also get um Garmadon, which is, you know a cool fig to get. Um and uh the golden sword. <clears throat> Next, you have Golden Mac for $40. Um, this looks, I think this looks really cool. Um, you get a lot of cool minifigures too. You get Golden Lloyd and Sensei Wu. Um, it's, this is a really cool looking set. So, if you, you know, if, you, if you're a Ninjago fan, definitely I think you should pick this up if you don't have it already. Um... Uh, and now we're getting into like the uh, current Ninjago stuff. I just want to point out I watched Ninjago up until like halfway into the Techno Blade stuff, and then that's where I stopped. So I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. But I will say these sets do look cool. First here we got the Empire Temple of Madness, um, for eighty dollars. It's, I mean, it is a big set, you know. I, I suppose it's, yeah, this is definitely $80 set. Um, uh, yeah, you got some of the ninjas. You got Lloyd and Jay and Cole. I, I don't know why they just throw Kai and Zane at that point. But anyways, and you got some bad guys. It's a cool looking set. Um, I, I, it's if you like the Ninjago stuff. Maybe go for it. Maybe ask for your birthday or something. Next, we got Cole's Speeder Car. Um, a nice little $10 set. Maybe you don't have this version of Cole yet and you want him. So, this is probably a good set to pick him up in. Um, looks really cool. Okay, next we have Kai's Mech Jet. Um, uh, this is. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, he like again, it's um really fancy looking. You get Kai, and I'm sure that's also a character. Um, I uh, just look, looks really cool. Like, man, like maybe this might get me back into Ninjago's. These do look cool. Next, we got uh Jay and Lloyd's Velocity Racers. So, who? This is a cool set. Um, you'll get um, yeah, more vehicles and such. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what to say. They look cool. Next, we get the gamers market, um, which is like you got a bunch of random little stuff here. I think thirty dollars is a bit steep because once you take out the minifigs and kind of bit bare bones, but. I guess there are just a lot of them, so it's kind of worth it. Uh, I like the little reference to the pink um, ninja there. Um, uh, it's a good looking set. All these are look great. Next we got Jay's Cyber Dragon, which, yeah, this is one of the bigger dragons. Um, this is $50. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth what it is. Um, 
get some good minifigures here. Next we got um, the Ninja Turner car, which, like, wow, these designs are really, like, they're something, all right? We got all these um, stickers here, which is probably on a sticker, but they look cool. Um, all of these look really cool, so, yeah. Next is the Hidden Side theme. And let me tell you something about these. I don't have any of the sets yet, but I, at some point, I guarantee you I'm going to get them. Because I'm not crazy about, you know, if you're not crazy about the, like, app part, I don't think that's even a big deal. These sets themselves look fantastic. First here, we got the Welcome to Hidden Side, which is a nice little um, starter set, you know. You get some of the different characters. Um... Uh, it's, it's got, it's got a cool tree, creepy tree looking thing. Um, I like the, like, use of blue. It's like a really great use of it. It looks, all these look awesome. Next we got, um, uh, the Graveyard, <laughs> Graveyard Mystery. Um, I almost considered getting this once, but it went for something else, um, it's a really good, cool-looking graveyard. It's got a cool angel statue. Um, it's got another creepy tree. Um, these are just really cool minifigures, too. Like, I love the designs of the characters. <coughs> Next, we got the Lighthouse of Darkness, which is $50, a bit much, but it's it looks really cool. It's a cool-looking set. Um, uh... You got the awesome minifigures, and it looks like the lighthouse opens up to reveal scary inside. Um, next, we got the Haunted Fairground, which is fifty dollars. This is a newer set. Um, this, this, like, this is a cool set. I think um, it's just like that twisted amusement park thing, and it, you know. When you, it's like the, you know, the hammer game and it like reveals a scary face and it's got a little bit of a roller coaster. Next we got New Newbury Subway, which this is cool because now you're getting into like the dark, dark and creepy underground and you get some cool designs with that. Um, again, cool characters, cool villains, and it yeah it looks really great next is jack's beach buggy so if you're looking for just a vehicle for the in this theme this looks really cool nice and simple twenty dollars a bit much because it does look kind of small but if you're a fan like a real big fan of this theme maybe you like the app stuff it's probably just you know a good pick if you're not maybe maybe it's not worth it it does look a bit small i don't know um it's not bad. It's a, it's all right. It's a good looking set. All right. Next we got the Lego Creator line. We're starting off with the propeller plane. Just a lot, of, like for pretty much any Lego Creator set, they they're simple like ideas, but they will always look really good, and they always so the, the alternate builds are kind of cool. Um, I it's kind of weird how just. Part of the build for this one is just a base plate, which is, I don't know, kind of a waste, in my opinion, of bricks. They could have just put it into the helicopter, but I don't know. Anyways, next is the sports car. This is a really cool build. $10. I think that this is definitely a good deal if you want a sports car looking thing, just to drive your minifigs around. Um, this is a cool, cool build. I would probably pick it up. Next is the Townhouse Toy Store for forty dollars. I think this is a good, a good deal if you want a more module like you start the modular building stuff. Maybe start a display or something. This is probably good for a set. It's a toy store. You can't go wrong with that. It looks really cool. Um, you get a little, um, also a little uh, play thing. I don't know why the adult is in it, but <laughs> it's it's a really cool looking set. Um, I think. You know, I hope maybe one day I'll get it. $40. Not bad. Next is the Monster Burger Truck, which 
this is awesome. Like it's it's a like a monster burger truck. That's awesome. Fifty dollars. It's a bit on the pricey side, but is I think it the design definitely pulls it through. It looks really cool. You can also make um like a truck, uh, which I don't know. I'm not crazy about that. But then uh, you can also make a tractor, which that's kind of cool. Uh, it's just a cool tractor burger thing. Um. So. Yeah, this is a cool design. Next, um, I won't go too much into this. Just more Lego classic stuff. You can get like different, just a bunch of Lego bricks. Um, if you're looking for crazy colors, you can get them, and some base plates. So, yeah, this is definitely um, you either want them or you don't. You know, that's that. Next are Lego ideas. Um, starting off here, we got the Lego. Central Perk, based off the Friends um, TV show. Um, this is a really cool set. Um, I got this for my mom for Christmas, um, and we built it together. And it's a really cool looking set. Um, if you're a Friends fan, you know you should you should get it. It's a cool looking set. Only it's sixty dollars. Um, I think it's not bad. It looks even in, you know get this for someone who may maybe they're not even a crazy Lego person. I'm sure they'll still like it. It's still a really cool design. It's got some cool Easter eggs in it too. So yeah. Um next we got the the, the treehouse. Um you know this is probably the best looking Lego treehouse that there is. Um and it's really big, it's really cool. If you if you got like a big display that it looks really cool. And then also something cool about this set, they give you a extra set of leaves that are orange so you know you have like a fall look for it and I guess you know if it's winter time you can just take the leaves off so this is a, this is a cool set um uh it's two hundred dollars though so it's you know tad expensive you know you definitely you either want or you don't um next is the lego iss for Ooh, $70. It's like this, I think this is a good deal. Like, I don't know if I'm getting it, but $70 for this. This is a very big set. I think it's a great deal. You know, if you're into the Lego space stuff, this is really cool. Um, uh, I think it's definitely, if you, you should get it if you're into Lego space. Um, next, we got dinosaur fossils. Sixty dollars. Um, they're really cool looking. Um, I think they probably do have a lot of pieces, um, even though they're a bit smaller looking. They're very well designed, so I think this is def. So, yeah, I think that's a cool set. Um, next we have. Okay, I guess this is getting to the creator stuff. This is ideals anymore. Um, next we have the Lego NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. So, again, this is a really cool, like, leg like cool looking set. Um, if you're into the, um, NASA space stuff, this is a cool, like, it's a replica. Um, it's a, it's a really cool looking set. It's pretty accurate. You get two spacemen. I kind of wish they were based off the... You know, the actual astronauts but these two are just generic but it's whatever you get the american flag at least so that's it's a pretty cool set um a hundred dollars you know it's a cool i think it's worth it. i think that's a good good deal it's a really cool looking set next we got um the fiat 500 which is that again cars i'm not a car person but it's you know kind of cool looking um, you know, if you want it, it's $90, um, if you like the Fiat and you like Lego, then you'll, you'll probably have already gotten it, so that's that, and then the Ford Mustang, same deal, uh, although it's $150, but again, if you like Ford Mustang, then you probably already have it, um, personally, I'm not, don't think it's the best deal, so, you know. Okay, next we got the 
corner garage, garage, I don't know why I said garage, I'm not freaking from England, I'm American, but the corner garage we got is $200, um, it's a cool looking set, I think, um, can't put it on a spaceman, it's crazy, alright, alright, let's try and finish this, alright, I think, yeah, corner garage, really cool, next is a downtown diner, um, hundred seventy dollars um at the again a good looking set um if you want your modular sets these are really cool they're good to pick up next is okay i am not personally a big book person but i will say this set looks fantastic it's a fantastic set it's um 180 dollars really expensive but it is great looking set it's i think the bookstore bookshop is definitely a cool set if you if you have a modular display you definitely pick this up it's really cool next is the assembly square um 280 dollars um this is kind of like basically looks like pretty much two it's basically two modular sets so it looks really cool um it's just some basically generic um buildings to add to your um display i think this is probably good pickup um maybe even good place to start too um last um we got on the back we got the old trafford manchester united which is three hundred dollars um looks kind of cool if you're obviously if you're um what is it manchester football is that I assume that's soccer. <laughs> um, uh, so if you're into any of that, the football, soccer stuff, um, if you if you like the teams, you know, it's probably a good set to pick up. It looks really cool, I think. Um, I wish, I kind of wish there was some stuff where you could, like, set up some minifigures or something. It doesn't look like there is, but it still looks kind of cool. You can at, at least have some of them maybe kicking a ball around, um, so is if you like if you think it looks cool, um, three hundred dollars, you know, maybe it's worth it to you. It's a it's definitely a good looking set. But that is gonna be all for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Just a nice uh, video. Sit down. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you, you know, if you like the video, tell others about it. Um, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye.